Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to transfer files from your iPad Pro to any MacBook. So the first step is on the iPad itself, what we're going to do is we're going to get our finger and we just want to find the top right of the display and we're going to slide down with our finger. So make sure you're touching the display while doing this, just slide down from the top right, 3, 2, let's go. And you can see, once you've done that, this should activate, this is the control sensor. So once the control sensor is activated, we're going to use a finger and we're going to long press where you can see the Wi-Fi icon on Bluetooth, long press in between there, and then you'll see this view. You're going to see AirDrop here, tap on AirDrop and you should see everyone. Tap on everyone and now AirDrop has been turned on and set to everyone. Once you've done this, you need to move over to your MacBook and you need to do a similar thing. So the top right here, there should be the control center. If it isn't, I'll show you what to do as well. We'll just click on the control center here. You see AirDrop, click into here. Make sure this is set to everyone. Make sure, of course, AirDrop is turned on. So if you don't have this, this means you have an older Mac. That's okay. Just click on search. Search up for the AirDrop app. Open. And then you see allow me to be discovered by. Click into this. And then set it to everyone right here. So once you've done that, we need to move the files. So what we're going to do is on the iPad Pro, go to the Files app, like so. We'll click on Return. We just need to find whatever file we want to transfer over. So here's the deal. If you would like to select multiple things at once, tap on Select, and you get one finger, and you hold quickly and slide. So hold and slide, and you can see I quickly selected everything right here. And if you, while holding down, drag your finger down, you can see it will scroll down in the Files app. So you can see, scroll up and scroll down. It's a bit glitchy. And you can see here, I'm able to select everything at once. Now, I just want to, you know, do you know an example for this video. So let's just choose this file right here, 1.9 meg. Right, we'll do this, uh, this org.ipa and this .deb here. So once you have everything selected, do you want to share? Tap into the share, airdrop, and then you should see your device shop right here. Now, if you don't, the reason why is because you aren't signed into the same iCloud account. It should show under other devices, tap into your device, and then it should also work. So you can see here, it's shown as regular devices because I'm signed to the same iCloud account. And you can see, just like that, it's going to send the files over without any issues now if you do have issues with that then what i do recommend you do is just restart the mac restart the ipad usually all we need to do is just turn off and on airdrop again so same instructions find airdrop turn it off turn it back on both devices that usually fixes it and then you should uh, work without any issues you don't actually need to be on the same wi-fi network for airdrop to work uh, you just need to make sure wi-fi and bluetooth are on and it doesn't actually matter if you're connected to a network airdrop's pretty darn cool and if you're just having issues, turn off and on AirDrop. If that doesn't work, restart your device. But let's take a look at the files. So you can see they are showing up here in Downloads. If they don't show up there, just go to the Finder, Downloads, and then you should see there are the two files. And just like that, everything transferred without fail. So that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.